Now, this question says in the diagram, O is the center of the circle and EC is a tangent to the circle at C. DM is equals to MC and OME is a straight line. Now we're told that we should let O1 be equals to 2X. So you can kind of see 2X over here, right? This is O1 that we're given. Um, a couple of important information, we're told that DM is equals to MC, that will come in handy. We're told that the line EC is a tangent, and that is more or less it. Every other thing, it's visible on our diagram. Okay, so let's get into the first question. So here it says, give with reasons three angles that are equals to X. Okay, so looking at our diagram here, we see that a would be equals to x and the reason why a is equals to x is angle at center is equals to two times angle at the circumference okay that'll be your first answer now another angle that is also equals to x is the bow tie right remember the angles in the same segment we would see that this D is equals to X, right? Right, so those two angles are equal, which is called angles in the same segment. So let me remove this. So we can say angle D is equals to angle A, which is equals to X. And the reason for that is angles at the same segment okay and finally this here is x od and oc are both radiuses whenever the sides are the same the angle they produce are usually the same so for that reason we're going to say that c2 is equals to d which is equals to x and the reason is isosceles triangle O D is equals O C. Now in question two here, the access to prove that O2 is equals to 90 minus X. Okay, so we are asked to prove that this O2 here is equals to 90 minus X. Okay. So the first thing to do to answer O2 is to figure out what D2 is, right? And we can use it for the first theorem. Now this is 90 degrees. The reason why it's 90 degrees is M2 is equals to 90 degrees. And this is the first theorem. The first theorem says whenever you draw a line from center and it bisects a cut, we normally say it is perpendicular. Okay? So we have M2 as 90. Now, to get O2, since we have OMC is a triangle, we can calculate it using interior angles of a triangle, which gives us 180. Okay, so O2, M2, C2. So therefore, our O2 will just be 90 minus X, because obviously, this is what we're trying to get. This one here is 90, like you see. And this one here is x so using simple simplification o2 will finally give you 90 minus x that's it now for three there's a proof that doce is a cyclic quadrilateral so we're trying to prove that doce is a cyclic quadrilateral now whenever you're proving a four-sided shape is a cyclic quadrilateral there are three ways of proving them So to prove a four-sided shape is a cyclic chord, we could either prove that the angles are supplementary, right? So we say A plus B is equals to 180. We could prove that the opposite interior angle is equals to the exterior angle, which in this case, let's say this A and this B, so we are saying like A is equals to B, and therefore this shape is a cyclic quadrilateral. And the final way to prove it is true angles in the same segment. 
So if I'm able to prove that this angle like there, A is equals to B there, I could also say it's a cyclic one. Now looking at all those three and looking at our shape that we're given, I'm inclined to use this one over here, the third one, angles in the same segment, because I can kind of see the outline of that shape and that can help me out, right? So if I want to prove this, I should either be trying to prove that this angle D is equals to angle E, yeah? Or I'm trying to prove that angle O3 is equals to angle C3. Now, if I can prove that these two angles are equal or these two angles are equal, I could definitely say this shape is a cyclic chord. Now, diving straight into it, I would recommend we prove this here. The reason I want to prove D and E is because since I already have the value for D, I could just try to figure out what the value for E is. So if I can figure out what the value for E and it also gives me X, I could say it's a cyclic chord. Now, in the previous question, we actually found out that O2 is 90 minus X. So let's start with that. So to prove this, the first thing we'll start with is O2 is 90 minus X, and it was proven in the previous question. Now, the next thing we also see here is that C2 and C3 actually gives us 90. And the reason why it gives us 90 is because OC is a radius and EC is a tangent. And whenever a tangent and a radius intersect, the angle they produce is 90 degrees. So the next thing that we do know is C2 plus C3 is equals to 90. And the reason is tangent is perpendicular to radius okay now the reason why i got these two angles is because i was looking at eoc and if i'm able to get o2 and i'm able to get this angle of c here i could use the interior angles of a triangle which adds up to 180 to help me figure out what e is right in so doing it would actually mean that e would also give you x right if you add all this you get 180 degrees so we could now say that therefore E3 is equals to X, and the reason is sum of angles in triangle. What is the triangle, by the way? Triangle EOC. There we go. Sum of angles in triangle EOC. That's where we get E3 as, E3 as X. Now, since we have E3 as X and D is already X, we can say that this is a cyclic quad. Okay, so I haven't said it before, but I can also say D was X. We kind of proved it in the previous question. So we can now finally end and say that D O C E is a cyclic chord. And the reason is because angles in the same segment. And that's it.